Hi boys and girls, today I'm reading one of my favorite books by Robert Munch called Love You Forever. This book has a whole new meaning to me once I had my own children. It's to Sam and Gilly. A mother held her new baby and very slowly rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I love you forever. I'll like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby, you'll be. That baby grew. He grew and he grew and he grew until he was two years old. And he ran all around the house. He pulled all the books off the shelves. He pulled all the food out of the refrigerator and he took his mother's watch and flushed it down the toilet. Sometimes his mother would say, this kid is driving me crazy. But at nighttime, when that two-year-old was quiet, she opened the door to his room, crawled across the floor, looked up over the side of that bed, and if he was really asleep, she would pick him up and rock him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I love you forever, I like you for always, as long as I'm living, my baby will be. Well, that little boy grew. He grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was nine years old and he never wanted to come in for dinner. He never wanted to take a bath. And when grandma visited, he always said bad words. Sometimes his mother wanted to sell him to the zoo. But at nighttime, when he was asleep, the mother quietly opened the door to his room, crawled across the floor, and looked up over the side of the bed. If he was really asleep, she'd pick up that nine-year-old boy and rock him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I love you forever, I like you for always. As long as I'm living, my baby will be. Well, the boy grew. He grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was a teenager and he had strange friends and he wore strange clothes and he listened to strange music. Sometimes the mother felt like she was in a zoo. But at nighttime, when that teenager was asleep, the mother opened the door to his room, crawled across the floor, and looked up over the side of the bed. If he was really asleep, she'd pick up that great big boy and rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I love you forever. I like you for always, as long as I'm living, my baby will be. Well, the teenager grew. He grew and he grew and he grew. He grew until he was a grown-up man, and he left home and got a house across town. But sometimes on dark nights, the mother got into her car and drove across town. If all the lights in her son's house were out, she'd open the door to his bedroom window, crawled across the floor, and looked up over the side of that bed. And if that great big man was really asleep, she picked him up and rocked him back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while she rocked him, she sang, I love you forever, I like you for always, as long as I'm living, my baby, you'll be. Well, 
Well, that mother, she got older. She got older and older and older. And one day she called up her son and said, you better come see me because I'm very old and sick. So her son came to see her. And when she came to the door, she tried to sing the song. She sang, I'll love you forever. I'll like you for always. But she couldn't finish because she was too old and sick. Well, that son went to his mother and he picked her up and rocked her back and forth, back and forth back and forth and while he rocked her he sang this song i'll love you forever i'll like you for always as long as i'm living my mommy When the son came home that night, he stood for a long time at the top of the stairs. And then he went into the room where his very new baby daughter was sleeping. He picked her up in his arms and very slowly rocked her back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And while he rocked her, he sang, I'll love you forever, I'll like you for always, as long as I'm living my baby old And that's the end of the story. I sing that song to my own children every single night of their lives. I hope you enjoyed the story as much as I do. See you next time.